doing, I have to say, this academy yes. is special. I like this place, you know, it's close to uh, the city centre, close to uh, what, the uh, cruise ball. For me, it's, I like this and uh, dreaming to have an academy like this. I usually play at the, at the club. When I was a little boy, I played in a club in China. I want to have an academy, I have my own academy, and I practice my own table, and I can play somebody. <laughs> this, this is great. I want to go to Shanghai, I'd really like to go to Shanghai. Okay, yeah. Shanghai is a good place to go. Shenzhen or Guangzhou, okay, yes. they're in south, they're nearby Hong Kong. So. Yes. It feels energetic, it doesn't feel like you have to be quiet, it, doesn't yeah. feel in, it feels very open. Yeah, it's open. You need to speak to somebody, you need to play with somebody, then you make feeling you, you're not playing alone. Yeah. When I was younger, I practiced alone a lot. I was, um, the most time, I have three months, I haven't been playing anybody. And then I play somebody, I couldn't make 20. <laughs> wow. So that's the feel, I couldn't understand why I practiced so many and I couldn't make 20. It's, this, this is the, how I'm feeling when I was young, so um, I prefer this one better than you know, just have a room practice. A lot of players have a, a table at home, but they don't, they don't play a lot. They want to come to an academy or go play somebody. That's the, that's the difference. Go to Chongqing is not bad. It's somewhere in Chongqing, Chongqing yeah. Chongqing. So you can, you can really see these are almost match conditions, the lights, yes, the table. Yes. Yeah, the lights. I say the lights, lights must be like this. Uh, as Chinese players, as if bring new ones come, they play the, uh, the first round, maybe table seven, table eight in, in tournaments. They have dark lights, okay for that. But when you play somebody like um, top 16 or top yes. 32, you have to play the table one, table two, it's all like this. They can't play. I want to make sure they can play on this table. You know hot pot? Chinese hot pot. No, no, what's this? <laughs> yeah. It's a fa famous food in uh, Chongqing. You know. It must be special for the future generation to see players like you, players like Nopon, players like Jamie Clark, yes. all training here, all succeeding. There's not many uh, places you can put all the players together <laughs> and you can play uh, each other. Sometimes um, the player says, OK, I play in this club. But, but, most one or two different players, but here you can have a many, you know, different players. You can you can you can play each other. It's not boring. So snooker sometimes, uh, if you lock yourself in the room, practice all day, it's going to be boring and boring again. But in this, you never get boring. You know? Okay. That's like like a pot. They put all the food inside and make hot. We call hot pot. Yeah. Because what we did was we didn't go to tourist places to eat. Okay. We would go to a very small place. Okay. This is your 14th Crucible appearance. Right. You're only 33 still. Okay. What does the Crucible mean to you? He's uh, the only one I haven't won before. Um, I can say the best one now. I need, I need to take that responsibility and um, also I want to win that to see how good I am because everyone says good and, but never win that tournament before. All Chinese snooker fans want me to win that, you know, this, <laughs> this is uh, That's a lot not, of people. not easy. And, uh, and also this is every player's dreaming title. I have to say, <laughs> so with my friends, we'll say who's going to win this year. <laughs> this is why I think it's going to be you this year. Because UK <laughs> champion, okay. number one. Number two, no crowd. No crowd. <laughs> and I think for you, the pressure of the expectation of over a billion people wanting yes. you to win must be enormous. Oh, but yes. now you don't feel that when you're actually playing because there's no crowd. Yes. It's, I know it's uh, a bit weird or strange for, for players or for the snooker fans watch on the TV. They will get, we will get used to at this time, and just for once. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, of course. Okay. Hopefully just once. Yes, yes. In 20 years' time, I may one day interview somebody and I'll say, where do you play? How did you start? And they'll say, well, I play at the Ding Junhui Academy <laughs> and I started there when I was this high and I'm now world champion. <laughs> Good, great. I'd love to see that, you know. 
The other thing was the Great Wall of China. I thought it would be maybe 200 miles okay. long. It's 2,000 miles long. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. <laughs> yeah. yeah Cast that out, man. What a lovely film. And well done, Radzi, getting some travel tips from Ding. And good luck to Ding Junhui and that Snooker Academy in Sheffield.